Of course, the South Carolina primary election for Republicans could not be done without conspiracy theories. Conservative social media quickly was saying, why are the polling locations needing internet service? Why are there issues while well, they're telling people trying to vote they need to have internet? Well, what they all pointed to was a video, which appeared to be Steve Bannon's war room, which personally I don't trust as an accurate news source for anything. But the woman speaking there was saying that they were told that people weren't able to vote because of the lack of internet and their ballots were going in a bin. And then there's also a clip on the internet of a man coming out basically repeating the same thing. And if you go and you look up voter election integrity stuff from South Carolina, you'll find what I found, which is behind me. This is an election integrity document from 2022 in the fall, which says the voting system is never connected to the internet. Computers used to tabulate votes, BMDs and ballot scanners used in South Carolina are not even capable of being connected to the internet. So if they're not capable of being connected to the internet, what could possibly be going on if there were actually issues at the polling places involving the internet? Because it's possible that the workers mistold what happened, the people voting misunderstood what was happening, or people just could be lying. We don't know because South Carolina has not responded. We don't have their response. So what we have to go off of is what we have behind me, which is from the election integrity. And while it says those things are not connected to the internet, there is something that is. Registration lists. Poll managers use voter registration lists at polling places to help verify a voter's eligibility to vote and record which voters were issued a ballot. Every polling place uses electronic poll books, EPBs, as the primary voter registration list and have a paper voter registration list as a backup. So here we go. We have the electronic poll books, EPBs. A secure internet connection allows poll managers to process voters more efficiently, which reduces wait times. EPBs offer several key security and integrity features. A cellular internet connection allows EPBs to synchronize with each other in real time so that when a voter is checked in at one station, all poll books used at the polling place are updated. EPBs are not part of or connected to the voting system. The voting system is not connected to the internet. So there's a possibility that something got lost in translation surrounding the electronic poll books. Now, why would they want electronic poll books to be connected to the internet and updated in real time? Well, let's continue on. Absentee voters are automatically updated on election morning instead of relying on poll managers to manually update lists. Another ballot on election day without EPPs, election officials rely on poll managers to manually update absentee voters on the paper list before the polls open. EPPs ensure voters receive the correct ballot style. Because precincts can be split by district lines, not every voter in a polling place is qualified to vote the same ballot. It is critical to the integrity of the election that voters receive the correct ballot style and are not voting for any office for which they are not qualified. Voter registration lists tell poll managers which ballot a voter should receive using an attached printer. EPBs print the ba voter's ballot style on the voter's ballot, eliminating the possibility of errors that exist when poll managers manually select ballot styles. EPBs allow election officials to monitor turnout, help poll managers assist voters when there are questions about their eligibility, and more quickly create publicly available participation lists following the election. So, we do not have a response from South Carolina. As far as I can tell, it was one reporter at the source of all of the claims. And they were connected to Steve Bannon. Who again, I do not believe anything that Steve Bannon says or people connected to Steve Bannon say without heavy, heavy, heavy verification. There is a decent chance that there was some issue with an electronic poll book. That could have happened. Could have been an issue 
with their cellular internet connection. And maybe that messed up how they were doing the voting at that polling place. Or it could have been something completely unrelated to the internet and misunderstood by any of the voters that were complaining. Which, as far as I've seen, at least they've shown, I've seen one voter complaining about it. Maybe there are more videos out there, but people simply aren't linking those. And of course, here's the fun part. As soon as it came out that Donald Trump won, I stopped seeing people talk about it. And I find that so, so fascinating. They stopped caring about what they claimed when Trump won. Not all of them, some are still going, but the vast majority stopped. Is that because they were worried Nikki Haley was going to win? Quite possibly. Because I've seen some comments playing that Nikki Haley lost because this went viral and they must have under undercut the deep state. And I expect this to be a talking point on conservative media. If not now, we have November. Because what will happen is, what if Joe Biden wins or does better than expected in South Carolina? You can guarantee they're going to point back to the video, point back to the tweets, point back to any articles that get written and say, look, that one voter said this, therefore. So I'm hoping that South Carolina and those managing the election make a very big public statement about what actually happened at that location. Because I'm sure they're going to get asked. Because while I saw plenty of far-right media making little articles on it with basically no, no information, basically just linking to tweets of people complaining about other tweets, linking to a clip from, yeah... I expect they're probably going to get some calls from MSNBC, CNN, trying to get, you know, a response. So look for that response in the coming days. I wouldn't be surprised if it's out within 24 hours after the election. They're a little busy on the election to try to fight misinformation, I'm sure. And what I expect after going through this is it's probably an electronic poll books. Because I can't imagine that they suddenly decided to update their voting machines to the internet after all the drama, after repeatedly saying it's not connected to the internet in 2022. And I can't believe they do it in this political climate, if they're an area that didn't already do it. But we'll see. Pay attention. Check up on the updates. Because I get the feeling it's not going to be as people on the far right were posting on Twitter. <laughs>